joined by James Buckley, former jockey, but he's landed his first success as a trainer with one of his favourite horses, who he also part owns. He broke in. He has a wonderful association with me, a Dolce Jace. He must be extremely excited and very proud of this horse. Yeah, she's um, she's been an absolute ripper, you know, a, a cheap pers- purchase at the last winter sale, and um, you know uh, she's uh, she's only had one spell since the winter sale, and she's always just gone on with it, you know. She's um, very versatile little filly and um, I reckon she'll uh, grow up to be a pretty handy three and four year old. She must show enormous resilience too. She's been racing throughout the two year old season. This was her third team start. She's just an absolute a remarkable two year old. Yeah, she's she's as hard as nails. Like we've we've put her out for a spell before and she actually does better in the stable. She sorta of, she sorta of likes to be in amongst it. She um yeah, she does a lot better in the stable so she has had like little breaks in between races and stuff where she's only, you know, she's only just gone on the grass for a couple of days and then sort of gone to the beach and that sort of thing just to break it up. So, um, yeah, other than that, she um, she does better in the stable and she just, um, well, she hasn't really missed a trick really. She's only been unplaced four times. So, um, and, and one of them starts as fourth, only beaten a length and a half in a listed race. So. Take us through your story, Jase. You uh, you complete you rode here in Perth. You rode also in Queensland. When did you take out your trainer's license, and and the reason for taking out your trainer's license and taking over Mia Dolce? Well, I um, yeah, so I, I finished up in um, in Queensland. I had a bit of an injury over there, and um, I decided to come back home. The family's over here, and that, and um, I was breaking horses in Ascot, and uh, and a, a friend of mine um, had a, a bit of unluck. Uh, he was a bit unlucky with a couple of horses and he said, oh, I said, why don't we go and buy a yearling? I said, we'll go halves. I said, and, and we'll just buy something cheap and have a bit of fun with. Um, I said, I'm probably not ready to get my trainer's licence just yet. I'm just sort of trying to build a better foundation and work a bit harder. But, um, you know, so um, whilst I was waiting for the licence to go through, I, I just had my uh, mate of mine, George Davies, um, you know, have her in his care. So, um, you know, and, and, and uh, yeah, so... That sort of helped kick the process along with the trainer's license. So this is where you want to go in racing, becoming uh, to to you know remain a trainer. Oh, definitely, yeah. It's um you wake it's a job you wake up and you actually can't wait to get to work. You know, it's um it's an absolute pleasure. And horses like this make it even make it you know all the more special and uh, particularly the the nature of the horse as well. She's got that electrifying gait speed as well, and she shows a little bit of toughness too at the end. But she was entitled, I guess, to be a little bit tired, but she had enough in reserve. Yeah, she's um. She's uh, just, even recently, she's just been getting out the gate so well and when she's in front and dictates, it sort of, because they're only two-year-olds, I guess, it gets them off the bit a little bit behind her and she's always got that break on them, you know. And um, I think that's uh, a pretty valuable asset that she's got, you know. Well, you've ridden um, a number of winners as a jockey. How does it compare to, to winning one as a trainer? Uh, it's more exciting as a trainer. Um, put a lot more work in. Um, you're there day in day out. You're feeding them, working them, uh, p- paying all the bills, <laughs> and uh, you don't have to pay any bills as a jockey. So, <laughs> uh, well, hopefully this is the first of, uh, of many. She's uh, become a bit of a cult hero in uh, in Perth racing circles. The nature of her racing, just her resilience to 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 race throughout the season. So well done, Jason, uh, on winning your first race as a trainer. Well done on all the work you've done with me, Dolce. No, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much.